Hello guys and welcome to another video in the series of Linux tutorials. In this video we are going to talk about two commands which are cd command that is change directory command and ls command which is list command. So let's begin. Now first of all ls command will tell me the subdirectories or files present inside a directory. For example if I go to the computer then file system home and my user home directory wiki then you can see these are the contents present inside the wiki okay so if i open the terminal now and right now if i want to see my current location so i am inside the home and inside the wiki okay now i want to know what are the subdirectories present in this directory okay inside the wiki what are the subdirectories or files are present so i'll use the command ls okay now if you can see here these are the subdirectories present here. So, verb suit is here, then desktop document, same as it is showing in the GUI form. Okay, so ls will tell me the content. Now, let's say I want to go to the another directory, let's say documents. Okay, so in GUI, I will simply double click it, but let's say I want to change it from here. Okay. So in which directory I want to go, I want to go to the document. So I will use the command cd and then the name of the directory in which you want to go. So I will write doc and then you can press the tab, com, tab button, okay. It will complete the name, okay. So cd document, okay. So now I am inside the document and if you write now see the present working directory then I am inside home, inside wiki, inside documents okay now you can see here that inside the documents we have sub directories so if you want to know what are present here you can write here ls okay so inside it we have tcs tan1 file and tan c okay now let's say i want to go one directory back okay i want to go back so here i could do something like this but if you are using this then you write cd dot dot now dot dot means the previous or one upper directory okay so dot dot will bring me to the one upper directory okay so i had pressed it and now pwd then you will see right now i am inside the wiki okay which is one directory up from the document okay so let me again go to the document now let's say i want to go above and above okay two directories back okay in the same order previously okay so what i will do i will write cd dot dot which means go one directory back and then slash then dot dot okay which means go one back and again go one back okay and then i press cd or oh, sorry enter okay so now if i do pwd then you will see that in from the documents i have reached to the one directory back that is inside wiki then one directory back okay inside the home okay now if you do ls then you will see we have the three users so basically i was here then I did cd back and cd back and I reached here okay and inside it we have these three users okay now if I want to clear my terminal then I can press or write the command clear okay so now let's say that I want to wherever I am I want to reach to my home directory okay for that we can simply write cd okay so right now I will be reached at my home directory okay users home directory or let me go back again or we can use tilde symbol okay now this tilde means that the home directory okay so if i write here tilde is equivalent to something like slash home slash current user current logged in user okay so wherever i am going to use that tilde it means that it is writing this slash home slash current user okay so i will i can write cd tilde okay so it will also bring me to the home directory of the current logged in user okay another thing that we can do we can give the full path so we can write slash which is the root directory then inside home then the username as wiki okay you can either write this or you can write this also there will not be any difference okay so this will also bring me to the home directory okay then let's say that right now i am inside the wiki okay and these are our folders okay or directories now let's say i want to go inside document 
and inside temp c okay so for that what i can do i can write cd i want to go to the documents and then i want to go to the temp c so i can write t e m p c so okay so i am directly going to the different levels of directory here so if i press enter now if you see here i am inside slash home slash wiki slash document and slash temp c okay so basically i had reached to the multiple or i am able to travel to the multiple sub directories okay so we can go to higher level or lower level okay another thing is that if i do here cd dot dot it means that one directory back okay but if i do here cd minus that it means that where was i previously okay for example if i if we see here previously before this folder i was present in this location okay in my home directory now if i do here cd dot dot it will bring me to the documents but if i do here cd minus then it means that where was i previously so if i do here then it will bring me to the home directory okay another example let's say i go to the root directory okay and then if i do here pwd this is it let me clear it let's just say pwd i am here okay then i went to cd then till inside my home directory inside my home directory i had a folder named documents and then i have temp c okay so i went here okay so now currently i am in this location okay now if i want to go where i was previously then i will write cd minus okay so cd minus where i was previously and cd dot dot means one level up to the directory hierarchy okay so cd minus will bring me to the this location okay root location right now because previously i was there and let me again cd minus and if i am doing cd then it will bring me one upper level of directory so it will bring me to the documents okay so this is the difference remember that between dot dot and minus another thing is that dot represent the current directory okay so if i do here cd dot nothing is going to happen because it is saying that stay in the current directory okay so this is how we are able to change the directory so let's say now i am inside the documents and then temp c okay now to list the content we i'll write list command which is ls command okay now we can provide various argument and options with any command for example here this was a argument now let's say we are using the ls command then i want to know the list the content of the root directory then i can give the argument as slash okay so basically i am giving the path of the root directory so it is not going to change the directory but it will tell me what is present in that directory okay so these are the sub directories which are present similarly i can do ls dot dot it means that say tell me what are present in the previous directory okay so these are the things which are present in the previous directory okay and this this is my current directory okay so in the previous directory inside the document we have tcs temp1 and tempc sub directory okay let me clear it now ls will tell me the content okay so now if you see here you cannot distinguish which one is file which one is executable and which one is sub uh, sub directory or a directory for that we can give the option as slash f okay capital f and then press enter or you can also give some uh, arguments also okay so i am not giving it right now so if you see here when there is normal file then there will not be any extension associated with it okay when there is executable then there will be star okay and for sub directories let me just tell me the what is present in the previous directory with the option f okay so for the sub directories there will be forward slash okay so in any directory if you use the slash f uh, option then you will be able to distinguish which one is executable which one is actual file and which one is directory for directory there will be forward slash for file there would not be anything and for the executable there will be star okay so this is how we can use another thing is that how you can see the size of a file for that you can write ls dash s okay so it will list me the size of every file but if you notice here that these are not human readable okay for that what will we use we will use 
एल एस डैश एस एंड डैश एच ओके डैश एच मीन्स ह्यूमन ईडेबल ओके एंड द पाथ विल बी करेंट वन सो नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज फोर किलो बाइट दिस इज ऑल्सो फोर दिस इज ट्वेंटी किलो बाइट लाइक दैट ओके एंड अदर थिंग इज दैट द सेम कमांड कुड ऑल्सो बी यूज समथिंग लाइक एल एस डैश एस एंड एच ओके दीज आर दी मिक्सड फॉर्म ऑफ बोथ दी ऑप्शन ओके एंड ऑल्सो वी कैन प्रोवाइड सम पाथ फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन प्रोवाइड द प्रीवियस पाथ सो इफ यू कैन सी इन द प्रीवियस लोकेशन और डायरेक्टली दिस have the four kilo byte size this is empty and this is four kilo byte okay now one last thing for this video is that the hidden files okay now in linux hidden files are start with the dot okay so if you see here right now you will not be able to view any hidden files even though there exist some hidden files okay so what i can do here is that i can use ls dash a okay now if you see here there are many files present here now note that this here is representing current directory and this is representing the previous directory but other than these you will see that this is another file this is another file this is another file and these are the hidden files that we cannot normally use with the ls command for that i have to use the option as ls dash a okay a means all the files even if it is hidden okay now if you want to create a hidden files or any other files now we don't know right now how to create files using terminal so what i will do i will just go to my home directory i am currently in my home directory in gui and i'll do empty document and name is as gs dot and then let's just say we are fine okay now i have created this file and if i go then you will see if i change my directory i cannot view this file okay so now if i do here ls then you will not be able to view that file but if i do ls dash a then you will see that our file is present here we are fine okay so basically we are able to create the hidden files using uh, prefix uh, using prefix dot okay so remember that so basically in this video what we talk about is the cd which will be used for the chain directory and ls will be to this okay dot dot will represent the previous directory dot current directory user home directory for till and minus for previous visited visited directory okay and if i am not giving any argument with the cd then it means go to the home directory okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video